What's up, nerds? How's it going? And welcome back to Subnautica. That's right. We are uh, currently back from where we started uh, from the live stream. If you haven't checked out the live stream, granted it's a little bit long, but it's okay. It's 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 not the it's not the best live stream at the time because I just got my computer working. But we have explored the Aurora. All right, and we are now on our way to creating actually we have the sea glide now and it's dark as fuck. and um we are actually going to go ahead and head over to this life pod i don't think i've actually i don't quite remember from the live stream if i did or didn't but either way we're going to go to this really quick i have food i have water it's only 200 and some odd meters. We'll get there really quick. So, there is... Oh yeah, so I'll be sure to report bugs. Don't worry if I ever find it. I don't try to necessarily break the game most of the time. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get there. Oh, we're almost there actually. I don't want to use my, my sea glide because I don't have a battery charger yet. Oh, he just ate that guy. Look, there. Wow. Hmm. I don't honestly remember this. I guess I haven't been here. Okay, cool. Got the data pad. What's this? Integrating new PDA data. Nice. And the compass. New blueprint acquired. All right. And I think we need we need a lot of good stuff for the for the compass. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm swimming my way back to you. Do 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 do. Oh, that way. Okay. So let's go ahead and assess the situation here. All right, because um, I honestly don't recall what I had plans on doing. I know that I have plans on looking for the. Oh yes, that's right. I want to build the sea moth. Because I needed to get to the island so I can get the habitat so we can build our base. And then we can move on to the finalization of this game. Um, okay, let's uh, let's put a pin in this right now. I'll be right back when I have at least enough supplies to make everything. I'll be back. Alright, so it didn't take too long. 10-15 eh, minutes of just scavenging around. But I did manage to find all the pieces. I actually had some of them. So we're going to go ahead and build ourselves our sea moth. Alright. Uh, is a fast, safe mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Of course, of course, we always have to stay healthy, right, Tara? Right. I, why does the... That's gonna drain my batteries. Why do they do that? I don't want my batteries drained at the moment. Okay, and then... Let's see. What we're gonna do... That was odd. What we're going to do is, we're going to listen to this radio message, but then there was also some data that I picked up that I hadn't, I don't think I've gone through all of the data uh, from, let's see, what we got here. You really think it'll carry two of us? A oh. regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Yeah, maths. Maths is terrifying just, just on its own. So, you know, um, I guess it's just one or the other. But uh, let's see. I, I think that's it. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick up this message here. Nineteen. Funny, I the thought I just heard your voice. Gone. I have assumed command. Oh, that's great. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Alrighty. So we have Second Officer Keen's last broadcast location, and then we have Stranded Near the Cave System and Under Attack. 
They are probably dead. We're going to wait for the sun to come up uh, before we head off and uh, figure out what happened. I mean, of course we know what happened. They're dead. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, get some, get to stock up on some supplies because I'm going to need water, of course, because the last time I tried doing this, um, I believe I ran out of water and I had to go back for water and that just was a pain in the butt. So, let me go ahead and fish fish for some supplies here and uh, we'll head off at the break of day. Alrighty, it's a beautiful morning here in Subnautica and we are on our way to go see what happened to both these individuals. And if I'm not mistaken, which I usually am, always, let's see, I can up access upgrades, here we go, and we're going to go ahead and put these upgrades, oh, that's for the Cyclops, but we can now dive deeper with the Seamoth now, alright, so, let's see, let's go to the cave, the cave system, and uh, Officer Keen is a little bit off out of there, but we're gonna we're gonna head off in that direction. I am well. This is not too far in the sea moth. Thank goodness. And 26 degrees Celsius. That is cold. I think. You know we don't. There it is. Oh, there's Bubba. Or one of Bubba's compatriots. Oops, something's over there. All right. What do we got here? All right, let's let's do this. Hopefully, I don't get scared by the. Uh... Integrating new PDA data. Okay, and we'll listen to the PDA data uh, shortly. Let's see. Oh, this is a sea moth fragment. This is just going to give me titanium. But I think. That looks like that's it. So let's go ahead and head on in. Get this message going. Data bank. Aurora survivors. Here we go. Ozzy's log. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. And I have the laser cutter now. Sorry, Ozzy. Um, he said there were cave systems nearby. Stop hitting my thing. Stop hitting my thing. Cave systems. I don't know where. I guess. Oh, I guess these are the cave systems. I think what I'm going to do is, as soon as I find out where his, okay. I'm going to surface about right here. Do I have the beacon with me? I think I do. Do I have the beacon? Yes, I have the beacon. Uh, exit. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. I'm going to put the beacon out there. And we're going to enter the sea moth. We will come back to this beacon later. Now we're going to go check out Commander Keen's last broadcast location. And I'm sure that's going to give us the location of the island and all that other stuff. So that, that's going to be fortunate because I always forget where those stupid islands are. I usually go in the wrong direction. All right. Let's see. Man. 
just the the crazy greeniness of the ocean as it is right now that's just it's just creepy and i want to say these are the the vents the thermal vents i think that are in this area I'm not 100 percent sure Seek fluid intake. see this is this is the same yep yeah, i i came prepared i Vital came prepared There's a crash site right there. Woohoo! Whoa. What the hell was that? Okay, there's the crash site. Everything looks legit. Except for those noises. But I'm sure it's fine. Diversity in this region is unusually low. Cause unknown. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency. Oh, that shadow kind of creeped me out just a little bit. Oh, -ho! something. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Ultra high capacity tank? Sweet. That's new. new PDA. Nice. Location uploaded to PDA. Nice. We're really having these outcrops though. Integrating new PDA data. Oh silver. Sweet. I always I could always use silver. Oh, there's something else here. Oh no. You get the freak away from me. Integrating new PDA data. Aha, stupid parasites. Alright, here we go. Uh, let's take a look here. Okay, to all crew, if you're reading this, then you have followed the automatic distress signal broadcast by the life on onboard computer. Contrary to my orders, I have been forced to evacuate. Your orders are to disregard my safety and attempt to reach the designated rendezvous coordinates at the nearest landmass. I hope to see you there. And... Commander Keen. Keen. This is Aurora. Come in. This is Keen. Life pod detached to a cave planet fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in Welcome one piece aboard, and you're going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Captain! Oh, okay. That's... That's something else. Okay, here we go. Surfacing. Whew. Wow. Okay. So, where... Oh! It's right here! <laughs> ah. Alright. Alright. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Sweet. I was... I'm not gonna lie. I was terrified when I came... When I surfaced. I was expecting to see... Some of those... Horrible monsters. Things that, that haunt me in my dreams at night. Because the ocean of Subnautica is so freaking deep. Picking up multiple energy signatures oh. on the island's surface. Oh, stupid... Uh, Jaffa Cup... Uh, no, not the Jaffa Cups, but the, the crabs. Bulbo tree. I think I can harvest the bulbo trees. I think. I'm just gonna go ahead and just scan a little bit of everything here. You know, for science. And, uh... I'm sure I'll come... Look, there's the there's that thing up there. So I'm going to definitely have to go up there and scan that. But, uh... Jeez. You know, it looks pretty. It looks pretty on the surface. But, of course, you know, deep below, there's stuff down there that wants to kill me. So, uh, I'm not all that enthralled by the idea of, uh... Oh, 
Oh, look, here we go. And then, oh, yes, the lantern tree with the lantern fruit, which is freaking amazing. Because it also gives me H2O. Wouldn't it be nice if I could, um, like, create some type of drink, some hydrating drink from that? Uh, do I have my... No, I don't. Why don't I have my knife with me? Did I seriously forget my knife again? Sweet. Found this. Purple key. Yes, that's right. Shove it in my face. Abandoned PDA Degasi. That's right. The mystery of the Degasi. That's always... I think I think that was like the funnest part of the the new advent of, of, of the new game when they when everything was done and, and all that I, I thought that giving some some history to this island I'm gonna scan you cave crawler I don't like you I don't want to self scan. For obvious reasons. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead. Oh ho! Crap. There you go. Gonna be scanning this bulkhead. Another PDA here, Paul Torgle, and a battery. Integrating new PDA data. Oh shit! 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 Get away from me! Wait, there's there was something here to scan, wasn't there? Oh, a spotlight! That's what was... Was that it? Had to have been more than that. I'm also going to take some of this fruit with me because I'm going to need it for the bioreactors. No, last time I, got, I went in there, I got stuck. I think it was that one. Remember that? That was... That was not cool. It's not cool at all. Voxel shrub? Could you scan this one before? I don't know. Huh? Okay. And huh? come on. Come on. No. Huh? Huh? I like how it just. Huh? Huh? What was that? I know there's another way around this, but I'm stubborn. And I acknowledge my stubbornness. Which gets me hurt. Because there's a... I think this is it. Thanks, Tara. Appreciate it. What's that? Ambient sounds. Awesome. Speckle Rattler. I hope I don't. I, I hope I don't get stuck again. Pink cap. Nice. Okay. Here we go, and we're at the top. Another message coming in. The observatory. Maybe that's what I was supposed to scan in the last one. Not 100% sure.
Oh, and there's another one. Totally didn't think that there was going to be another one. Vital signs stabilizing. Now, I, I'm just doing a quick, like, just surface scan. I'm, I'm not really looking for any of the... I'm not going to do an in-depth search of the island until much later. I think probably until I have the base up and running. And that's really been the biggest focus for me right now is getting a like a base of operations because you know the, the life pods getting too small you know um, it's it's just not doing it for me and then all the stuff that I plan on wanting to do can't see maybe I should have invested in a flashlight but it's okay it's okay it's okay you know it is what it is. And, uh... Oh, yeah. Indoor grow bed. That's what we need. We need an indoor grow bed. And I think we have the exterior grow bed, too, right? Yes, we have the exterior grow bed, which is going to come in handy uh, for some of the farming. Bulkhead doors, spotlight. That's going to all come in handy. Let's see what we got here. And disinfected water and I think that's all right now there was something here where are you ah fern palm there you go boom and there's my sea moth We'll figure out a name for it. I don't know. Something. Something catchy. Alright. So, we have everything that we need. Let's go ahead and listen to some of this stuff while we head back to the... Alright, so let's listen to... Okay, Degasi's habitation. Ooh, there's... and there's voices. Awesome. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials, nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight maider, but I've made my decision. You wanna forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Okay. Um, voice log number two. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? You know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're going to be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, <laughs> let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. That's a good question. Understand me. No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. And no staying here neither. This rain keeps falling, sooner or later this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. Interesting. Okay. And then that was number two. Here's number three. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here. I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not Welcome want us down there. Captain. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. 
Marguerite and father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Seek fluid intake. What is that wow. thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Uh, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. Vital signs stabilizing. And then I think we have one more. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mida, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had Mida salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Mida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. This planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months or even years. I'm glad he was. I'm glad he was realistic about that. Um, all right, so we have ourselves. Let's see, what do we need for the... We need two diamonds and cave sulfur for a laser cutter. And we really need that laser cutter to get into that to some of that wreckage. Okay. Um, the other thing is, too, we don't need a survival knife. We have that. Uh, the high capacity, we need... Uh, well, we already have the, the high capacity. I guess it's, the, it's a modification. Probably. Let's see. Let's see. Let's take a look. Oop, wrong button. Alright. We picked up a modification for a O2 tank. There's the laser cutter. There it is. Ultra high capacity. Yes, it is a modification. Additional air capacity. That stuff is always going to come in handy. Air. So useful. Um, <laughs> let's see. I, I think... Man, I, hmm, I want to say that this is, I think this is the start, this is the start, now have I built the habitat builder, I thought that was like the first thing that I built, or, yes, it was, it was the first thing that I built, here we go, Keep on pressing the wrong button, okay, so now we have, we need a, here's the multi-purpose room, we're going to need a crap ton of titanium. Right? Yeah, we're going to need lots of titanium. And then... I want to build the bioreactor. Right here. I need a wiring kit and lubricant. One bioreactor would be pretty decently, and then the rest can be solar panels. <clears throat> or if I can find a way to make multiple wiring kit, uh, bioreactors would be great. And then eventually, of course, the nuclear reactor is always going to be the best thing in the world. And then, we, of course, we have all this other extra stuff that we need. Still don't have everything for the battery charger. And this is just aesthetics. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and collect some titanium. Alright, and look for a decent spot. Well, I already have, I have lots of titanium here. 
But let's uh let's go ahead and dump some of this stuff in the ocean. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go find the perfect spot. It's gotta be it's gotta be somewhat in the shallows and somewhat towards the edge, towards the deep. And I think the perfect spot is gonna be near the aurora, towards where that where where the crash site is, so I can actually stay in the shallows so the solar panels can work, and then also too, I can extend the base going deeper. Uh, into certain areas so I can actually have you know and then of course when 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 push comes when when the time comes for me to actually like disassemble the base I can do that and we can slowly move deeper but I think for right now the our best bet is to stay in the shallows so we can uh, use the what are these bobbers doing up here stay in the shallows and really effectively use the uh, really effectively use the sunlight to power our base, and I and I think that's that's going to be that's going to help us out in the long run. Because I think this area is a little too deep. Because I really don't know like the effective range of the solar panels yet. And I would rather not want to test them and just waste time. I'd rather just know that, okay, well, if I have them here, I can do this and I can do that. and It'll work out just fine. You know what I mean? And I think what better place than to have it than near uh, a piece of wreckage. So this should be good right here. This is what I'm thinking. This should, let's see. Foundation? We need lead for the foundation? Nah. We don't need lead. S screw your lead. Alright. And then we'll put ourselves here. The quartz is gonna... We're gonna need lots of quartz. For the... Um, it may be prudent to separate work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Treat this space as your home, but never forget that it is not. Right. Right. That's, that's, that's important. Okay, so I am going to need lots of quartz. Okay. So, I think since we've... Or I mean, we've, we've laid the foundation for a base. This is great. I think we're going to cut it here, guys. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, like I said, if you haven't seen uh, the live stream, where because I had to start all over for various reasons, check it out. I'm going to put a little bubble up there in the top somewhere. And um, check it out. It's about three, three hours long. And it's filled with great swaths of silence as I'm swimming through the deep and also a couple of jump scares here and there. So, I will see you all later. Take care and nerd out.